Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is March the 28th, 2021. This is our third day price prediction update for XRP from our last price prediction, which was on March the 25th. You guys can already tell when I zoom in on this particular chart that we already expected the market in XRP to go higher in price. So hopefully you always able to capitalize on that. We're going to talk about that, break that down, and then make sure that we're in position to capitalize on the next price movement today. So if you appreciate it, this is your first time viewing our content, make sure before you go, hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel. So now let's break this down, okay? So real quick, the first thing that we do here on this particular channel is that we pay attention to what the trap is going to do. Now, if you all don't know who the trap is, the trap is the one who controls the price of the market it is his function, his responsibility to make sure that he brings all of the buyers and the sellers together in order to create a very efficient market. OK, and once you try and once you understand how to interpret the price bars right alongside with the volume, you can actually dictate where the prices are going to go. For instance, you guys can see right here, March the 25th was the last time we did our video for XRP and we anticipated that the price was going to go higher and immediately the next day following our prediction the 26th the market actually came and broke our ultimate tp price right there around 55 cents 8.34 percent profitability was had in the market right there so congratulations to those who was able to call the market right alongside with us there's nothing hard nothing confusing about it while everyone else is trying to confuse you with their technical indicators that they have on a chart none of that is required in order to grasp where price is going to go all right, so let's take this away real quick. That is old, that is done with. And now we need to see if XRP has enough momentum to continue to at least go back up there towards 60 cents. Because obviously, given the last three days, that's definitely still something that's on the table. But right now, I mean, we're seeing how the volume has been on a decrease. Let me zoom in and show you how the volume has been decreasing in the market in XRP. Wow. We've been seeing the market in XRP go higher price. So what does that mean? Well, it simply means that we are diverging or diverging away from what the market really needs to do. In order for us to continue to see the demand to see everyone feel the same way about increasing the price of XRP, the volume needs to show that. And right now, with a decrease in volume, it lets us know that we're losing that emphasis of higher price movement for XRP. That is precisely what is going on in the market for this currency pair against the dollar, right? So let's start out real quick looking at the three day time frame into the market for XRP. Pretty much the market still looks good enough to at least maintain some sideways trading. I mean, 60 cents is restriction all the way back down here towards 50 cents. That is that sideways trading channel that we're seeing into the market in XRP. The three day time frame does indicate, though, that sellers are still present into the market in XRP on the two day time frame. Not too bad here, neither. The market here is trying to give opportunity. It's kind of like the trap is laying on the sidelines, trying to see if he can bring out any more sellers right before he tries to increase his price. That is what we're seeing on a two day and a three day time frame. Five day time frame, same thing. I still like what's going on into the market for XRP. Take for instance, look at this five day price bar right here. Okay. You guys can see how the spread of the bar literally tells us that the market tried to break that ascending line, but instead the market recovered itself from actually being knocked down in price to where we was able to at least come back up towards the high of the bar. Now it doesn't mean we're out the woods a weakness, but it does mean that the market is not extremely weak to where you would be expecting us to do a massive breakdown in price. Pretty good. So let's look at this on a weekly time frame real quick for XRP. And here, even on the weekly time frame, I mean, we've seen an increase in volume come through the last three consecutive weeks. So what is going on into the market here in XRP? The volume has been increasing. You guys can see as the market in XRP has been going higher in price. I mean, it's a great battle going on between those who want to increase the price of XRP versus those who are trying to sell. That is precisely what the market looks like on the weekly time frame. And right now, I'll tell you 
that the strength is overpowering the weakness. Like they are winning this war as of this particular moment from all of the time frames that we have been eyeing. They have been winning out. Now, in order for that to be maintained, price cannot break in XRP below 50 cents. If price breaks below 50 cents in XRP, then that lets us know that the weakness has now won the war and that price is going to continue to go lower in price. That's it. Okay. This is nothing hard, nothing complicated to understand. Understand that stockpile and demand is what causes these price swings. And right now, the price swing is in favor of those trying to increase XRP's price. Okay. Real quick, since we're almost done on the monthly time frame, you guys can see we have three days and 14 hours left. Right now, the market looks pretty good. If you guys have been watching our videos avidly for XRP, we've been telling you that the monthly time frame definitely looks as if XRP was going to continue to go lower in price. Well, that is changing somewhat because we're still seeing the emphasis of the market trying to break up above 60 cents. But we're going to maintain that weakness in the long term until we see that happen. Until we see the market in XRP break above 60 cents we are still on the long term looking at all of this weakness that came through for xrp all right so let's do this real quick so what do you think the market is going to do in xrp over the next three days do you think the market in xrp is going to continue to show us higher price movement or do you think we're going to break down and go lower? Because what I'm seeing on the hourly time frame is literally the market in XRP finding a very hard time breaking above 56, even 57 cents. On the three hour chart, you can see the same thing. We might even see on the hourly time frame the market in XRP creating a downtrend right this can actually be the start of the market in xrp going lower in price so on an hourly time frame i'm seeing weakness here i'm not seeing any strength in the market in xrp yet let me see if i get anything different on the nine hour so even currently here on the nine hour time frame we need to see this market break about 56 cents on the hourly time frame in order for us to really try to break 60 cents to the upside and i don't see that right now so in the midst of this weakness right now for xrp the next movement lower as we're going lower in price right now the market needs to show us support at 54 cents in order for us to try to break this descending line right there okay so what we're going to do on this particular video we're going to play the weakness into the market for XRP. Now, I've already told you, though, that 54 cents can still be maintained as support. OK, so let's break this down real quick. And then I'll go ahead and let you all go. But before I do, I would like for you all to give me your comment as to where you expect the market in XRP to be in the next three days. So we're going to hold 60 cents as restriction as well. Now, again, I want you all to realize I'm not saying that the market in XRP is going to crash. So just relax. We can still anticipate that the market is going to move lower, though. And that's what we're going to do. And we would come in and TP the market around 54 cents because we realize that in order for us to try to grab 60 cents at a later date, the market cannot break below 54 cents, which is only one and a half percent profitability. OK, so it's not even much there. But we can realize that that area can still show itself as support. OK. And ultimately, we're going to try to hold that market around 50 and a half cents. So, again, we're not seeing a massive volatility movement in XRP to where we're expecting the market to break either one of our lines on our chart, but rather continue to trade in this block. Right. And in that block, we're looking for the price to go lower slightly. 54 cents initially to where we'll come in and TP the market all the way down to 50 and a half cents. There you are. Now, in the next three days, we'll have to come back in and reevaluate to see 
if the continued weakness is coming through because if so then our ascending line is going to be in jeopardy of being broken to the downside which will continue to play the weakness then at lower prices so that's it this is what we're seeing into the market for xrp as of this particular moment as always i want us all to learn how to call the market so i want you all to drop me a comment in the comment section and tell me what do you think the market is going to be in xrp in the next three days make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different